The phone call that I was greeted with from Tony was, Taylor, where are you? Your unit's on fire. Hello, welcome back to the Auto Alex podcast. Cast, Cast. you join me, Taylor, and Rory Mackay. Uh, where are we? We are in Mumbles, Mumbles in Mumbles. Wales. <laughs> Wales. We're just actually, outside of Cardiff. Yeah. yeah. If you're wondering why the unit looks a little bit different and decorated <laughs> and why we've insulated the unit, it's because we're not actually in the unit. No, we're no. in a really nice gaff that looks like something out of James Bond. It does. This is like MTV Cribs. Eat your art out. Yeah, YouTube's paying really well oh, these days. So yeah. How much are we actually paying for this place? Um, so Tonight. this place sleeps eight. And it has its own gym, and it it's, does. It's so nice. Don't say, don't say it has its own gym. It's shit. It's it a cage. has its own gym. No, it's a cage. It, it comes with, with a free with rental. a twenty kilogram bar, and I think seventy kilos worth of. And um, it has an weights. eight thousand pound carbon fiber oh, bike. Oh, the bike. Oh, the bike. Yeah, the which bike. I, I, I don't know if you're allowed to use. It's in the place, so I assume. You I would think be. it's more like art. Oh, I can't you? believe yeah. how many toilets and showers there are in this house. There's a toilet and a shower in the small downstairs You can do toilet. a lot of shitting in this place. And a lot of showering. Yeah, but, so but there's yeah, it's, four it, bedrooms. Yeah, four bedrooms. Five bathrooms. M- rainfall showers, like, and I mean rainfall showers yeah. in each one. Yeah. And it's £170, £179 a night. But? But there is a cleaning fee of 100 quid. So and we're paying about 300 and something quid. Yeah, including like fees. And for stuff. a night. And there's five, five fellas here. Yeah. Which I think is a good deal. It is. And it is lush. I mean, you can see us for the first time because we've heard you. All right. Everyone's saying, oh, why don't you just upload the full podcast onto V2? We're doing it. All right. Shut up. You got your way. <laughs> you wore us down. And here we are. I, I just like to make one thing about this house. Yeah. I think the best thing about this house mm. is the view that I was greeted with earlier, which is what's on the driveway. Oh, my Porsche. Because I drove in <laughs> and there is an E46 manual touring sat yes. on the driveway, a Porsche 911 993 in yes. a fantastic colour. And now it's an E46 320 my CD. E46 Alpina manual coupe. That's quite cool. And anyone that drives past this house must go, wow, yeah. fair play. Well, we're going to nick that. Yeah, we're sure the <laughs> lot. Yeah, because we are in Wales, in Swansea. Yes, we are. It's a bit are. nicky in Swansea, isn't it? But, it this, is, but this, I, think, I think this is a nice area. Yeah, oh, this area is like Hollywood. It's really nice. All yeah. oh, right, okay. Um, anyway, welcome to the podcast in our new MTV Cribs house, just for one night. Yep. Um, normal programming will resume as of next week in the unit, in the uninsulated unit. It's going to be very calm. Yeah, once we've sobered up. Yes. Oh, yeah, we have been drinking. Quite a lot. Yes. Because uh, it's Alex's birthday tomorrow. It mm. is. Well, and you're going to be 40. I'm not going to be 40, man. I'm mean, 39. <laughs> it's pretty much 40, no, though. No, you're in your 30s. You're going to be 30 in June. 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 So we're all going to be in our 30s. No, because you're 40. No, 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 no. We'll all be... No, but, but you're 40. But, but, but next year, you'll be 40. Oh. I, I won't. I, wait, wait. Joke's on you. I won't make it to next year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, before we uh, chat about what we've been up to uh, this week... A massive hello to people who have been emailing us in on uh, podcast at autoalexcars.com. That was good for being drunk. That was actually good for being drunk. Uh, so Kevin getting his wife's car washed, Daniel Scott working in the Alaska oil fields, wow. Sebastian in Germany injuring himself while working on his mom's car, Ben Kirby listening inside a tank. Oh, what? No, yes. Well, no, not a proper tank. It's a cider tank. Oh, sorry. Oh. But it's a tank. It's a tank. That's feel pretty cool. We've got Aaron on the Isle of Wight, Danny Smith listening on his way to try and sell some cars, yep. Philippe in Malta, Joe Green in his high mileage hero, T5 van, Sebastian, who was listening to the podcast while getting pulled over, and Rory's, Rory's mum, Jackie. Jackie. Shalom, <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> How does your mum find this? Does she like the shout out? Uh, I think she finds it quite funny. She said um, she's going to bring her own autograph pen to Shedfest. Um, oh, yeah, that would be yeah. cool. Maybe we could like have Jackie stand her own stand with oh. her own merch. Oh, it's either that or or we do some sort of like when we're introducing everyone on stage and then we just randomly. I mean, I was going to do this as a surprise to her, but we then go and Rory's mom, Jackie, and just Ooh, directly yeah. point. Uh, <laughs> or but you she know, might now know because I've said it because I'm, I'm a hi, bit Jackie. Drunk. Yeah. Also, you know how like last time at Shedfest we had to spin the wheel where you can win a set of tires. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. How about we have. Jackie on there. What, what spinning spin the, the wheel? Yeah, yeah. No, no, not, 
no, no. We could so have she Jackie is a prize. on the wheel. Well, but Your we... mum could be a prize just oh. for, for like an evening. I don't think that's um, acceptable these days. To, Isn't it? No, to sell off someone. Why, what? Get your head out of the cuffs. I, I just meant just for a hello. Oh, okay. Why, what are you thinking? Uh, are you f thinking full nudity and sex? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, right, you can't okay. put that in. That is disgusting. <gasps> Edit um, that out. Anyway, before we continue, um, a Shedfest announcement. Oh. Yeah. That linked in well. It did, didn't it, Just It's yeah. almost like that was planned. From Jackie to Shedfest. So uh, Shedfest on May the 4th uh, is a celebration of shitboxes, high mileage heroes, everything that you love to own and drive and buy and take you know, risks on make financial mistakes on that's what we do and that's what we encourage you guys to do as well tickets have been selling very 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 well recently a lot of people have been buying tickets so and many people a lot of sheds and actually quite cool cars as well pop up on my instagram saying that people have bought their tickets yeah it is very very good there are some really shit cars but that, also that some are going, really good ones yeah but well. mainly shit ones that have yes. been going to shed fest buying tickets so we love to see that and we can't wait to see you please Buy your Shedfest tickets now. Uh, there is a link in the description to Shedfest tickets in the bio of my Instagram, which is at AutoAlex. Buy your Shedf Shedfest tickets now. It's Cannot really cool. wait for Shedfest. It's going to be good. It's going to yeah, be awesome. Yeah. We're going to yeah. have like 10,000 people. May the 4th be... be with you. Oh, very oh, good. Nice. We are cancelling uh, Star Trek. For... Yes, we are. Yeah. 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 Just so we can. What? Are you right? Yes. Are you hungry again? We've just eaten, man. <sighs> What's wrong, Will? Really? Yeah. Your lack of understanding and appreciation oh, of culture is outstanding, don't honestly. You dare. We just haven't got time to watch if, Star Trek. I cannot wait till we get Tom Lenthal on this couch and then me and him can just talk about Star Wars. Oh, he loves Star Wars, he doesn't he? He loves it. He does. He is yeah. such a nerd. Yeah. For um, those of you who don't know, Tom Lenthal's profile picture on his WhatsApp is uh, Yoda. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, I did notice and that. And that's how yeah, I knew. Yeah, yeah. So, I thought that was Gollum oh, no. from. From the little no. people, the hobbits, my people. I no. thought it was Tom Lempful. No, so like not ten years ago. Yeah, yeah, because it looked quite good. Mm. So, no, sorry, but, Rory. But me and Tom, uh, after when it was, it was the NEC, wasn't it? When we all went out for that Indian yes. meal, yeah, and we were chatting about and, it. And me and Tom were sat next to each other, and we spent quite a long time talking we were, about we Star were drunk Wars. For that as yeah, well. we yeah. were very drunk. Yeah, yeah. For I'm so glad I wasn't there. It sounds fantastic. It was boring. actually a really it, good no, evening. You missed out. It was mm. such a great to have like the Auto Alex crew, like everyone, the extended yeah, yeah. crew. Was it great? Out. Was it great to pay for your own meals for once? Oh, no, no, we put it on the Auto Alex business. Oh, yeah, I, I took the yeah. card with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you took my card earlier to pay for this meal here yes. for dinner, and my card is your default for whatever delivery. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, he's not going to pay for it, is he? Yeah. Why would I pay for it? <sighs> Anyway, <laughs> what have we been up to? So the last podca podcast went out, what was it, last Thursday? Mm. Something like that. Yes. We were delayed because of Christmas and New Year. Yeah. And mum falling over and injuring herself. Yes. yes. Oh, thank you very much to everyone who liked message saying, hope your mum's all right. Mum mm. is doing really well. I've been feeding her up like one of those French um, oh, duck, ducks, uh, oh, okay. you know, like where you feed the food, like to, to, force feeding. To ducking. Is it what? What? To ducking. Yeah, isn't that? Hadouken. I thought that was a band, Hadouken. Oh, yeah. Know. I've just been feeding mum lots and just trying to get her strength up and she's doing really well. So oh, well good. done, mum. I'm very, very proud of you. Um, anyway, Rory, what have you been up to? I've got some notes here on the laptop um, and you're, you're about to ruin the mood, aren't you? Yeah, so we, we my, me and my family do like a, a little, uh, I, don't, I don't know, a meal to celebrate my, my, my granddad every year. So that's uh, nice. When yeah. did he? When did he die? Uh, was it a long time ago or recently? Yeah, well, about. Oh, God, I think it was about ten years. Ago, oh wow, a long time. Yeah, okay, no, quite okay. Well. So it's nice that you're still celebrating. Yeah, no, that's no, great. it's just nice to do. Uh, my my grand really appreciates it. So, oh, so fantastic! Did that. Yeah. That's really nice. Um, and then and then moving on to even more more sort of weird stuff. Me and Ellie went out and bought a load of antique oh, furniture. So boring. You yeah. really are becoming old. Aren't you are turning I, into I me. Like, I, I, I did sort of have a moment where I pulled up in the Defender unloading antique furniture into a cottage and I was like, oh, it's a bit old this, isn't it? Yeah. Were, you, were yeah. you wearing your barber jacket at the time? I was actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, your, was your left hip hurting a little bit while you were unloading? No, no, I haven't got rigor mortis. Oh, right, that's just me, just mm. me. Do you know all you need now just to set the scene? What? A dog. I desperately you need a Labrador. You don't have the balls Ellie, to buy a dog. Ellie won't let me get a dog. What? You need to get no. a Labrador. Oh, it's because she wants to have a baby. No, she says that I won't look after the dog and it will <laughs> be left with her. So, which, yeah, of course, but... That's besides the point. 
Oh, no, but you can take the dog to the unit and then Maisie can have her dog friend. I really want a golden retriever. Oh, I do that like golden, a golden that retriever. That golden retriever will dominate me. Yeah. Oh, oh, any, anything would dominate. That bloody... the. Are you, are you mentioning this in your story? What? If not, you should. No, you haven't put it down. All right. Rory the, Rory the mouse would dominate Maisie. Yeah, okay. So, right. <laughs> oh, this is quite funny. Set the scene. Okay, so... Yes. Um, my wife and I, Rianne, are currently renovating our house. I say... Currently, we are. We've got some buildings. You've in. paid a man. We're, we're paying We're paying many men to do an extension, blah, blah, blah. So Rhiann and I have moved our entire lives from the house up and down. So ground floor and first floor, upstairs. So our spare bedroom is now our living room. Our My office is now the kitchen. And the bedroom is a bedroom. So we literally live in a squat. Mm. It is, oh God, the space, there is no space. But you do mm. have hot water and heating now, so you've got nothing to complain yeah, about. Yeah, no, I mean, it only took three months until we had a boiler. Mm. So yeah, as of three weeks ago, we've had heating and hot water, which is a game changer. Anyway, because we've had heating and hot water, we've got a new tenant. Mm. And uh, that new tenant is uh, very furry, very fat, very annoying. It's a mouse. And, and very we, clever. Yes, it's a mouse. And because it's very fat, small, rotund and annoying, <laughs> uh, Rianne was actually the one that named it. It was Rianne. Yeah, she named it Rory. <laughs> so we have Rory the mouse in our oh, house. So, so in our funny. kind of living room slash spare bedroom, whatever it is, there's still a mattress like lent against the wall. It, it is just so shit in there. There's the a moment. moose about this but, house. Um, I'm out at the moment. Maisie is with Gareth and Orly and their dog. And Rihanna is just chilling on the little two person sofa. And then Rory, the little fucker, just <laughs> comes out from underneath the unit and he's just like walking around and he wants to get out towards the kitchen area, which is the office. But Rihanna's closed the door and he's there and he's like trying to jump up <laughs> on the skirting board. And they jump high, those little fuckers. Yeah. And Rihanna's just there and she's like filming it. I might, I might have to put it up on my stories. So if you want to see a little. Fucker. You should do a montage. We should do a montage of Rory, the fat little rotund mouse, <laughs> like literally mugging Rianne off. Then uh, check that out on Instagram. But um, Rianne put more mouse traps because we've got like five mouse traps in that in in our little squat at the moment. And um, Rory, the little fucker. Sorry, I keep on saying that. Because I, I don't feel like this aggressive. is targeted at the mouse anymore. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> so the mouse is very clever. And there's Weetabix because he went through my Weetabix. He smashed my Weetabix in the kitchen. I, I really yeah, do yeah, like yeah. Weetabix as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, quite funny. Do, yeah. Weetabix is nice. So he, uh, we know that he's got a penchant for, for Weetabix. So I like sprinkled on some Weetabix on the mousetrap, just beside the mousetrap, just to tempt him in. Mm. And the little fucker, <laughs> he just ate the, the Weetabix outside of the mousetrap. And then Rehan's got a, a video of him this evening, which is what day are we? Tuesday. Yeah. This evening, um, going up to the mousetrap, sniffing the Weetabix and thinking, nah, I sense danger. And then buggering off. He knows. He knows that something mm. is not quite right. Mm. How, does, how does a mouse know what a mousetrap is? That's what I want to know. I'm so happy that I get to annoy you in my work life with you. And my personal life. But now life. In your personal life. When I'm this trying is, to it's sleep. It's so good. When I'm trying to sleep and I hear... <laughs> I know it's Rory next door trying to get out. And that was before the mouse was there. Yes, <laughs> yes it was. But I just, I just don't understand how a mouse knows what a mouse trap is. Why don't you want him as a pet? Because he's a dick. But They why? are so annoying. You they put shit geez. everywhere. They eat everything. We'll put they a little box um, out for him. A what? Get a little litter box. Oh, what? And train him up? Yeah, I'll yeah, get him a little collar. So he oh, that might be in quite the nice. Box. Oh, Isn't it a nice little pet? No, he's a shit. <laughs> he is a bit cute though, isn't he? They are quite sweet. Oh, he's useful to have around. <laughs> yeah, he is useful. It's funny to have. because did you see the video uh, the other week of me finding a little mouse in the back? Oh, yeah. yeah. So I was changing the interior of my E30 and I lifted the rear seat and found a whole bunch of seeds under the rear seat. And I was like, that's weird. What are they doing in there? And then looked in the boot and to the left hand side of the boot in one of the storage cubby holes, there was a massive mouse nest. And I thought, that looks very fresh. <laughs> and I sort of poked it with a little box that I had in the boot. And this little mouse jumped out of the nest in the boot of the car. And I was like, 
I don't even know what to do at this point. What do you do? Because you can't chase it or just run away. No. No. So yeah, we uh, we managed to evict it in the end and got rid of it. And uh, I had to when you say it. you managed to evict it, what what did you do? Well, I called in Lewis, the mechanic next door, and he evicted it <laughs> out of the car. Okay, oh, okay. I don't okay. know what he did because I didn't look. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> but you, it was were you yeah. too busy going like. <laughs> I was too busy going doing what? <laughs> I was too busy going, Lewis. Can you sort this out, please? Because I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, that's my mouse story. So we, we kind of went on a tangent there. Yeah. yeah. So um, your granddad's memorial, which is very nice. Yeah. Um, buying antique furniture, terrifically boring. Yeah. So bringing the tone down. I don't think it's that boring. I quite. Did I you do anything fun? Uh, uh, well, we harmonised there. Did you notice? No. Oh. no. Oh, well, everything's still, everything's still bloody flooded around by me. You're like... Have you been out in the um, Defender again? I did Getting scared did, of puddles? I did try again. Did you? Yeah. Which uh, one? Um, so there's a, a supermarket near me called Warner's. Um, Walmart. Warner's. And it's, it's, I don't know, it's a Morrison's off branch. But um, it's, it, they do a little thing called like Warner's, Warner's update every single day. And it's the man stands in like the puddle. And it's like going, Warner's isn't open today because the puddle's too big or whatever. And then I've I've I was like going, and I think they've basically released it saying it's open now, but it's 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 limited access and it's by foot only. What? And and I was like, Hold is on. it built on Hold a lake on. or something? By foot only. I think I could make that. Anyway, I drove up to it, and I was like, I was like, oh, I can turn in here. I've I've got my my defender was wading through the water fine. Turns out they bloody got their flood defenses still on the wall. <laughs> so again, I had to bloody reverse. Oh no! Even though I could have got in. What is the point in that defender? You need to sell it. I love my defender. If someone wants to give Rory five grand this week, he'll take it. No, yeah. right? no I won't. You no. it. Rory, you've already lost ninety thousand pounds. What's another thirty or forty? No, grand? you you need to sell your Porsche because you don't even fit in it, so it's fine. And it gives you rigor mortis. And it gives you rigor mortis. We'll get onto that in a minute, but it's quite uncomfortable. All mm. right, Alex, what have you been up to anyway? Uh, so uh, not a lot. Uh, well, but I've been looking after Mum, which is going very well. And then on Saturday, Rhiannon and I drove up to near Leamington Way to Gareth's place, Gareth and his wife. Um, and uh, yeah, we just had a nice time, drank some beers. And then uh, we we kind of helped, well, I kind of helped him a little bit rebuild his uh, BMW S1000RR, which went very well and it rides straight now. So that's pretty much all I've been at. Same. Uh, that, doesn't, that doesn't seem like all you've been up to. Wow. Well, I don't know. Well, I haven't like touched upon why we had to rebuild it again because you know the first time um, he, ju he just bought the S one thousand RR and yeah. then it was in his garage and he then told he had his the yeah he had a CBR next to him and because he's got a bit of a fat ass mm. his ass hit the uh, the um, exhaust of the CBR knocked into it and dominoed it into the S one thousand RR and then he's mentioned this already but he like damaged both bikes yeah cbr's really bad and the s1000 rr wasn't too bad so he went to like alibaba or whatever it is, aliexpress and bought carbon fiber and then fixed up the s1000 rr yeah. and it was fine and then the people don't know about he went for a little ride yeah. why are you his, whispering because it's a secret all oh, right he went for a ride he went for a ride with his father and his brother-in-law and then he went round a corner and then which was muddy uh, yes muddy hs2 blame you and and the bike decided it want, didn't want to be on two wheels anymore oh it wanted to do sliding yeah the bike went one way into like a, a fence and and gareth went the opposite way but he was fine because the airbag jacket went off when he hit the car what wait what car yeah there was a little car like a honda jazz or something that was coming the, the other i thought it was a i b for it was a car all okay. oh, right, it had four wheels. A generic car. And it was doing about 40 miles an hour, and Gareth was doing about 20 miles an hour on his on, on himself. Did he Wait, what? So they, they they had a collective impact of like 60 miles an about hour? About that, yeah, yeah. And Gareth was just, what, Gareth's body V car? Yeah, yeah. And and, and he was all right. He and got Gareth's his... not dead? No, no, everyone thought he was going to die. But no, he kind of just got up, brushed himself off, and he was like, Ah oh, shit! I this is uh, gonna be quite expensive, eh? <laughs> yeah, ah oh, bro, fuck this! Don't do that again. He doesn't sound like that. No, he doesn't. He's South African, by the way. <laughs> in case you were wondering. But um, yeah, it was Gareth versus car. 
Okay. And mm. out of the car and Gareth, who won? Uh, Gareth, actually. Yeah, all Gareth has to do is pay like £200 to get his um, airbag jacket regassed. See it, need to work on their build quality then, obviously. Well, no, it's, nice that, it's nice that the car was very soft because he dented the wing, the bumper and the bonnet. Imagine if that was my defender. Or a tractor. Or a tractor. Oh, that would have oh. been bad. Yeah, he would have punctured a tyre on the tractor. Mm, yeah, that, that would have been, been not good. So anyway, Gareth has had to go back to the drawing board, take the bike home in the van and then rebuild it yet again, except have to rebuild it more ex- extensively. So the, the S1000RR that he bought recently is now pretty much fully carbon fiber. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and he's had to buy a new rear wheel from BMW. Uh, a motorbike rear wheel. How much? I, I know how much because Gareth has posted about it oh, on, you on know, the internet you know about a thousand times. How, how much for a rear wheel for a motorbike? That S1000RR. What's it made out of? Is it, is it like specially? No, it's aluminium. It's an HP4 wheel as well. So HP4 is like the special edition version. 600 quid. 800 pounds for a wheel. A wheel. That does seem a bit excessive. That does. You yeah. can buy a whole set of alloys for a car for 800 pounds. You can buy a whole motorbike for that. You can buy a whole car. You can buy a whole house in Wales. You can buy two whole cars. Yeah, you can buy a nice little fella for a few nights. Can't no, you? they're no. quite expensive. Are they? Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Brexit. Um, anyway, Gareth is all right. Um... <laughs> And his bike rides straight, which is lovely. Same. Mm. So what else? <laughs> so no, no. Should we go back to that? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Do you really ride straight? Oh, very. What else? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's been quite quiet. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, just been spending a lot of time with mum. And yeah, it was just nice to get away for a night, which is good. So that's, that's pretty much me. What about you? Have you uh, what it says, uh, started a just fire don't. for Instagram content? Just Oh, how's your Instagram? Is it popping even up? even go there. My phone is sat over on the kitchen side behind us. And I haven't looked at it for the last five or six hours because it's just carnage. And Shall I'm we? going to check it when everyone's gone mm. to bed because today has genuinely probably been one of the most stressful days of my entire life. Taylor has a lot of stressful days, though, mm, doesn't he? He does. He oh, but so come emotional. on, guys. You know, I, I, come on. I, I have got <laughs> reason to be stressed on this particular day. It, it, there, there was when Taylor told us what happened. Me and Alex both did turn to each other and this would only happen to Taylor. <laughs> we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah did yeah, you yeah. actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We said... His time was going to be up sometime, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Someone yeah. will catch him one yeah. day. That's called karma. That's yeah. what you said, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> So Why? Taylor, <laughs> let's let's gloss over the weekend because what happened today was very exciting. Well, we won't gloss over the weekend because over the weekend I had a very good weekend. I went to oh, no, I'm bored um, already. Let's Cafe get, the machine. No, let's the carry new on. One, the oh, oh no! And wait, I went mm. to Bista Heritage. Taylor, everyone I want wants to talk to about, hear about fire, today. which was very good. Yeah, fire. I took what my happened Alpina today? Alpina to Bista Heritage. Oh, it was very oh, good oh, fun, and I really enjoyed it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Chris no, Harris yeah. was there, and you didn't talk to him because you don't talk. To him, you didn't know talk whether to he likes you no. or not. Oh, what a bottle job. So, um, fire, what happened today? Right, so <coughs> let's get to it. So, where were you going? Set the scene. So, today I woke up like any normal day, headed over to the unit. No, no, no. That's not what that's not the first thing you do when you wake up. Yeah, I did. No, you open your phone, get on Grinder, find a nice. Little <laughs> no, fella. I do that in the evenings. Do you? Yeah, Is that yeah. an evening? Yeah, thing? yeah. Oh, yeah. Always. Is there a bit better hit rate? Oh, 100%. But oh. anyway. So I got up today, like any normal day, uh, went to the unit, sorted some bits out, um, met up with Luke there. We had a good old tidy up. Mate, we actually had a really good tidy up oh, in the unit. Nice. So I swept it all out. It was yeah. all lovely. Because we have had a really busy week. So the, the unit was a bit of a mess. I had a really good tidy up. Um, I prepared my Alpina because I brought that with me to Wales today because we're mm. doing a bit of filming on that. Yeah. But we'll get to that later. Yeah. Um, I left the unit. And uh, drove about half an hour and I was on the M25. Question. Question. Go on. How late were you running? Uh, genuinely about 20 minutes. But I knew I'd be able to make that right, up because I'm like very efficient. Hour. That's good because mm. I told him half an hour earlier. Than oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah I was about 20 minutes late, but I, I knew I'd make that up because I'm very efficient. I'm, I'm German, you see. <laughs> but um, anyway, I was about half an hour away from the unit. I was on the M25 heading anti-clockwise and i got a phone call from tony mm. now tony lives opposite my unit yes my new unit that mm. i have just spent over genuinely over twenty thousand pounds doing up mm. and insulating and boarding and painting 
And, I had and my you, logo painted on the wall. And you've got and a lot of stock in there. I've got a lot of cars in there. Alex's Porsche You've got 944 my 944 in, in there. there. Yeah, that's probably and, the most and valuable. And your uh, Porsche Cayenne. Ex- my Cayenne was oh, in there. Oh, and my Porsche Cayenne. Yeah, your yeah, Porsche Cayenne. Both Cayennes. of my, my, Porsches my are Porsche in there. Cayenne was in there. My Mini. Oh, have you paid me? Yes. Oh, I should check my account yes. then. Shut should up. I do it live on the podcast? You actually owe me money at this point. <laughs> How do you work that out? Because today I've invoiced you. You just haven't checked your emails yet. No. Anyway. Right. <coughs> Hold on. Let me anyway, just my no, phone. no, no. So, right. Where's my phone? So, there it is. My KM was in there. My Mini was in there. My 540i manual touring. A couple of E36s that I've got in stock. In fact, three E36s. Sorry, I don't have an invoice. Shut up. No, but I don't. Well, I'm, 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 I'm on to my story here. But you just you just lied to it. Shut up. You're checking your grinder, not your email. <laughs> oh, shit. You're on the wrong app. That's why it's all green. Because you've had got too many tips. erdinger dr- No, it's because he's got the cataracts in his eyes. Oh, he can't this see it. Oh, he's not my rigor mortis. <laughs> but anyway, I've, there's a lot of cars in the unit, right? A good amount of money's worth. And it's not even about the money. It's about like some of those cars are genuinely irreplaceable. Luckily... One of the only cars that wasn't in there, which is still in storage, is my 6 Series. Yeah. Because the phone call that I was greeted with from Tony was, Taylor, where are you? Your unit's on fire. Oh, shit. And I said, Tony, shut up. What are you on about? And he said, you need to get here now. Your unit is on fire. And I said, are you genuinely fucking me about here? And he Mm. said, I'm not. You need to get back here right now because the units are on fire. Shit. I drove back very efficiently. Very efficiently. Very, very efficiently. efficiently. Was there was there mention of a hard shoulder at some one point? No, no, no. Um, no, he broke down. He, bro- he broke down, down, down on the hard shoulder. He broke down and happened and, and to it, overtake someone at 90 odd. N- no, 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 no. no. He Kilom- broke kilometers. down on the hard shoulder, yeah. but then got, got working really quickly again and then set uh, off from the hard shoulder up, and rejoined the carriage. Ah, anyway, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. As you can probably imagine at that point, I was more stressed than you could possibly believe. And I had a million things going through my head. I did not know what to expect when getting back to the unit. Mm. I drove back to the unit as quickly as possible in a safe manner because I had Luke with me. Um, well, no, no, I mean, you would do that anyway because you're a very responsible person. Yeah, of course, person. I'm a responsible person. <laughs> I got back to the unit and what I was greeted with was four fire engines, firemen everywhere, <gasps> and smoke. Oh, oh, oh my God, now no, 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 he's no, no, thinking this was worth it. it. I'm, I'm <laughs> glad we had that barbecue. Take anything it, seriously. It was when, it's when they walked into Taylor's unit and they realised there was a pole that they could slide Shut down. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Taylor was in there. Boys, it's going to get hot. Take them off. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but anyway, what I was greeted with was four fire engines yep. and smoke billowing from my unit. Oh, dear. What's going through your head? Uh, just... I just envisioned the inside of my unit just being completely black and the cars just not existing anymore. Yep. Um, I was really stressed. I was on the verge of tears. I genuinely felt sick. Mm. I think I was having a bit of a panic attack. The f- One of the firemen asked me to unlock the uh, unit door. Mm. I unlocked it. Uh, I think it was Luke that opened the door. I can't remember off the top of my head, but someone opened the door and there was just black smoke pouring out of the unit door. Um, I just had to look the other way mm. at this point. I looked the other way and I thought, it's just over. Everything is over. Everything we've worked for over the last year, two years, whatever, is just gone. It is completely toast, literally. Mm. Um, I didn't know what to say. I was looking around. I was talking to Tony, to talking to Lewis. What had actually happened was Lewis, the mechanic next door to my unit, was welding a car. Mm. He obviously didn't realize at the time, but the, the inside of the car had caught fire and he had actually left the unit, drove off up the road. And the saving grace of the entire situation that was when you, Lewis left, a delivery guy delivering a sofa to Lewis's unit mm. Arrived at Lewis's unit, I can only assume between about about 10 minutes after Lewis left, called Lewis and said, there is smoke coming from your unit. He immediately called 999 um, and rushed back as quickly as he could. The guy said to Lewis, you know, the fire is, the the smoke is getting really bad really quickly. Mm -hmm. And the fire brigade luckily turned up really quickly. And that is the only two things that's well actually three things that saved my unit 
Lewis unit is unfortunately completely unsalvageable. Yeah, the yeah. the actual structure of the unit is fine, but the inside is completely ruined. The, all of the boards are burnt. The insulation's burnt. All of the cars that were in his unit are completely burnt. Yeah, his ramp is completely destroyed. The tools, everything. His his whole livelihood realistically is has gone up in smoke. My unit suffered from smoke damage. So, so how long was it? So, you know, you said you, you opened the door, black smoke was coming out. How long was it in between that black smoke coming out and you knowing that your unit was... Pro probably about 10 minutes oh. because there was no electricity in the unit because Lewis's unit was so engulfed in flames, it shorted all the electrics in his unit and mm. blew all the fuses. So we couldn't open my shutter electronically. We had to use the manual chain and it is so slow. Yeah, yeah. We were pulling the chain. Oh, I saw the video of the fireman trying to get it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So me, Luke, and the fireman were trying to open it. Yeah. And it was taking so long, we'd have to swap over because we'd do a bit, breathe in some of the fumes, and yeah, then we'd yeah. have to swap. And it was a good 10 minutes before I could see anything in my unit and see that it was okay. Mm. Now, there is a bit of smoke damage in my unit. So we've obviously just painted all the walls and everything. Some of it is a bit damaged and we'll need repainting. But luckily, touch wood, all of the cars are fine. All of the walls are fine and the structure is fine. Mm. But next door, unfortunately, is pretty much completely unsalvageable. It's gone up. Yeah, it's gone up. And it just goes to show, like, fire is such a dangerous thing. Yeah. And it is, it is one thing that I've always been paranoid about. I always had fire extinguishers at my old unit. I brought them over to my new unit. Mm. I will be installing a like a fire detection system in my unit, which was planned anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's been one thing that's been a massive fear of mine because if your unit were to flood, it's salvageable. If it's if things are stolen, you can recover them. You know, you can rebuild them. Damages can be you know they, they can be sorted out. But fires, you just nine times out of ten, you just can't salvage anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's so so bad and. If if the cars in that unit were to be engulfed in flames, they're just not salvageable. Yeah. And a lot of the times, you know, business and, and premises insurance, they don't like to pay out for fires. Yeah. And, and you did get quite lucky because the other side of the wall, in Lewis's <clears throat> unit, there was a fuel tank or something. Yeah. So literally the dividing wall that <clears throat> divides my unit and Lewis's unit, mm. on the other side of the wall, there was a fuel tank from a mini Cooper S full of fuel on the floor. That he, he had taken out because he was doing a rear suspension yeah. rebuild and rear brake pipes. And it was literally sat on the floor on the other side of the wall from my unit. And the other side of the wall got so hot that the corrugated steel, all of the paint had melted off of it. The steel had started to buckle and it looked like it started to melt. Mm. And the only thing that stopped the flames from coming through to my unit was the insulation that I'd installed. Yeah. So, and, it, and it was non-flammable insulation. So, so just to touch on that insulation, there has uh, been a running, a running joke between these two where Taylor takes the piss out of Alex's unit because we do have insulation, but it's probably not the best. Um, it's how we moved in. It That's is how, how we moved, moved in. Yeah, we and, didn't have to do anything. And I'm not going to insulate someone else's unit because yeah, yeah, the red costs. there is so expensive. It is expensive. Yeah. And to be honest, to have my unit insulated was extortionately expensive. As I say, I've spent a, a, a bit over £20,000 on my unit but now. my God, wasn't it worth it? Yeah, it, it was it so does, worth it. It saved yeah. your whole unit. Yeah, it yeah. saved all of the cars. Yeah. Your Porsche 944... Mm. was about three foot away to, I'd say, almost a thousand degrees worth of fire. Wow. Genuinely. Then you would have owed me. That. There, was, right. there was one oh. wall separating one, two, and three, it's four, blocks, five. isn't it? Yeah, it's just breeze blocks, yeah. So there was, no, it's not. It's concrete and then corrugated steel, oh, but it was oh. the insulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the insulation isn't flammable. Yeah. Because in Lewis's unit, all the wood caught fire, but the insulation fell down in chunks. It didn't actually catch fire apart from the really hot bits. Mm. But there were six cars in a line yeah. against that back wall that, you know, that back wall on the other side of it was fire. Yeah. Mm. And, and even think, just, just you know... Obviously, the insulation would have stopped the fire, but what's not to say that the fire wouldn't have um, damaged all that concrete and that wall would have come down? It would have. So I actually spoke to a fireman and he said, I said to him, how long would it have taken for this fire to reach my unit? Yeah. And he said, genuinely, probably about 10 minutes. Wow. 
So the guy delivering the sofa to Lewis's unit that yep. called him and told him there was smoke coming from his unit saved mine and three other units. Yeah, did what he, a hero. Did he stick around then or did he... Uh, uh, I don't think so. I'm, I'm not too to sure. Fair, he had I a parcel, did a yeah, delivery. Didn't I'm not too yeah. sure. But it's just a random series of events yeah. that just meant that that unit, was, you, you know, my unit was saved. Yeah. Mm. And it is unfortunate about Lewis's unit, but these accidents do happen they in do. the motor trade. And I cannot express how important it is for, you know, mechanics and fabricators and restorers that welding is so dangerous. Yeah. That one of the first things that I learned when I learned how to weld and fabricate was when you weld a car, you do not leave it alone mm. within the first hour of welding it. Yeah, yeah. Because there could be the smallest fire or the smallest, you know, bit of ember or whatever that would just keep catching fire. And it's yeah. it's so hard to detect it. You don't realize it's on fire. It could be burning away somewhere. Yeah, that's very stressful. It was but very you stressful. you got away with it. Lou is unfortunately not. So. Yes. It, it was a very, mm. very bad situation that could have been so much worse. But at the end of the day, nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt. It was stuff hurt. that got hurt. Yes. So, you know, lives can be rebuilt. Yeah, yeah. So Nobody yeah. got hurt, um, which is the most important thing. Yeah. Stuff got damaged but so much more could have been damaged. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it, it, as I say, it's a very, very bad situation that could have been a hell of a lot worse. Yeah. So there's, there's one question that I've got, and I'm sure everyone listening to this as well. Um, what were we talking? Like, a, was it like a three-seater or a corner? Like, <laughs> what, the sofa? Yeah, yeah. I actually don't know. You don't know? I'll have to find and, it. And what we happened do, with the sofa? To be yeah. honest. Where is that sofa now? Uh, so, Lewis, when... <laughs> When the guy was on the phone telling him, telling Lewis that there was smoke coming from the unit, he said, do you still want the sofa? And Lewis said, <laughs> Lewis said, well, there's not much point now, is there? Oh, Christ. So I, I am going to try and find the phone number of the guy that yeah, tried to absolutely. deliver the sofa. Yeah. And I want to give him some beers. Oh, no, I thought you were going to say you can probably shut get a up. free sofa. Oh, no, the sofa, yeah. I think he's going to well, say what, 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 Shut yeah. up. <laughs> He but might yeah, be the man so, of your dreams. You never know. You never know. Yeah, but never well, know. he is the man of my dreams because he saved my entire Indeed. unit. So yeah, to the mystery delivery man, <coughs> man with the mystery sofa, thank you very much. Yes. Because, thank you sincerely. Yeah. Yeah. Fair play. Thank you for being on time as well. Yes. Because yeah. had he been any earlier, he probably wouldn't have seen any well, smoke. Well, he might have been. He might have been running late. If he was on time. Oh, he he's a delivery man. It. He would be running late. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. So yeah, it was. A very stressful day that ended yeah. out actually not being as And you're bad feeling all right now? Oh, I'm feeling great. Yeah. I'm with my best mates. I'm sat in a wonderful gaff. Yeah, MTV. In Wales with some Two fantastic beers. cars sat on the driveway. Yeah. Doing a podcast as well. Doing a podcast. And we've just had a lovely Japanese dinner. We yeah. have, yeah. Yeah. And a lot of beers. Oh, a lot we've of had beers. a lot of oh, beers. God, we've had so many Right. Beers. Uh, before we continue with the <clears throat> podcast, a massive shout out to this week's uh, sponsor, Febby Bilstein. We love Febby Bilstein. We do, don't yeah. We? And the reason we love Febby Bilstein is because they make OE matching quality parts and you also get a three year guarantee. So if you go to Euro Car Parts or wherever you buy your parts, then make sure you look out for Febby Bilstein. We've used their parts for what? Over six months now. Yeah. I mean, on multiple cars. Big Pete. Big probably Pete like is fully rebuilt thanks to we've done a full I think the only thing that's standard on Big Pete is the chassis exactly yeah. <laughs> uh, the E30 don't yeah. remember don't forget as well um, yeah. so Roger so many cars that we've used Febby Bilstein with we trust them and we would love you to trust them too as well so look out for Febby Bilstein because uh, yeah we really really rate them anyway shall we move this on now go on then right what we got then so we've been looking through the emails and we have got a question of the week from a lovely chap called George or Jorge. Jorge. If he was Spanish, but he's English, so it's George. He's. Uh, no. Jorge is George, but with a J. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is with a G, so it's George. It is, yeah. So George writes Hi, guys. I've been pondering a new car over recent weeks and have been looking at low mileage, average econo boxes. <laughs> oh. Bless you. Sorry. Oh That's the beer. That is the beer. I've been looking at low mileage average economy boxes around the three to three and a half thousand pound mark. After listening to your podcast, however, I now find myself looking at older, higher mileage premium cars like E53 X5s. Don't do it. So my question to you <laughs> is, is a high mileage hero really a good idea? Oh. So he can buy a three thousand pound economy box, which will be 
fine and bland and get him from A to B, or he could go higher mileage, because we do like high mileage, um, and buy something interesting. The thing so, is, right, with this situation, it's really hard to say, because sometimes you could buy a high mileage car that's been really well looked after, and it's great. Sometimes you can buy a high mileage car, and it's just problem after problem after problem, and oh, I don't know. The thing is, right, we like buying high mileage cars. Yeah. We've got the mechanical knowledge and the know-how and the equipment to fix them when they go wrong, but not everyone else has. No. So sometimes it's not always good to suggest to other people to buy high mileage heroes. Yeah. I do think as well it is just a massive game of luck. Like you it can, can be, yeah. you can it even can buy be. a high mileage car that has been looked after and it has been serviced regularly. But you might be the unlucky son mm. that it breaks on. On so I, uh, I don't know. I think I think when when mileage is concerned, you need to look at where has the mileage been done. Yes. If it's been a taxi, if it's been used in town, avoid like the break. Yeah. Anything more than what two hundred thousand, say. Yeah. If it's done two hundred fifty thousand miles, but most of those miles have been done on motorways, and if you've spoken to the owner, and yep. if you can see the MOT history, and it all kind of checks out, it'll be spot on. It will be spot on because. Doing high mileage in a town, you've got speed bumps, potholes that plays absolute havoc with suspension components, clutches, gearboxes, all the rest of it. But if you're literally cruising along at 70, mm. 80 miles an hour, doing 70,000 miles a year or so, then it's just li a little bit of rolling resistance. It's yeah. tires, it's brakes, but it doesn't really put that much strain on they the They have engine. an easy life. I, yeah. I, I will say a good mm. piece of advice. Lower your budget. So if you, if his budget is three three thousand to three and a half grand, I would say try and look for a BMW of maybe an E fifty three for two grand, and expect to spend that rest of the budget on fixing it back up again, or add on expect to I would say add on another third of that budget on repairs for the first bit of the, the ownership mm. of the car. I mean, Taylor, you know the E53 market better than anyone else. He's written E53 X5s as a premium car for him, so he clearly likes those cars. What is a decent price, or what's a what's an average price for something that would be reliable in your mind? For me, £3,500 for something like a 3-litre diesel is a is a good price it's quite a high price yeah, to pay yeah it's, it's, so. it's average i would say you could spend more you could spend less personally if i wanted a daily and i wanted something that was decent and reliable i wouldn't buy an e53 i would buy an e53 if i wanted to do a lot of towing and use it for a business and put loads of stuff in it and had a big family stuff like that if i wanted just a daily driver i'd probably just buy either i'd probably buy like an e90 generation three series or an e46 uh three series just but, a 330d but six cylinder yeah 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 six cylinder diesels are always better they're a lot smoother yeah and the four cylinders have more issues tend to uh in the e90 generation not necessarily it really depends what year you get um i just prefer the six cylinders they're a lot smoother and the yeah. fuel economy genuinely isn't that much worse yeah if i'm looking at like three three and a half thousand pounds and if i want something premium fairly big wafty and luxurious my money i think would go on something like a skoda superb estate i would go e60 or e90 generation three series or five series 530d or 330d i'd prefer a manual mm -hmm. I, I would probably yeah e61 i yeah. i do regret selling my 535 oh, that, was, that was a good car that was a good and car. it god it, it chewed up the miles like i i treated that car like shit yeah like like shit you like, didn't treat it like shit you just did a lot of miles did, in it i did twenty five thousand miles in that car in a it, year no it wasn't in a year it was in the space of five months what wow. yeah five months you did twenty five thousand miles well you say that how long have i had the kn uh why is it four or five months I don't think it's been that long. I bought it on the way back from picking up Freddy's Jag from the Nürburgring. I agreed yeah. with you on that trip to buy it. No, okay. you did. Uh, when was that? That I think that was only like... I'm going to say four months. No, I think it was only three months ago. I have nearly hit my first 10,000 miles in that car. Really? In three months? And mm. bearing in mind that you drive a lot of other cars. A lot of other cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I did use brick for a fair while as yeah. well and stuff like that. It's a lot of mileage. But yeah, yeah um, E53s, 
I would only advise if you want to use it for business, towing, big family, stuff like that. Or, speaking of the Porsche KN, you can pick up a first gen petrol 4.5 V8. No. You can. No. no for about, that, for about I think three and a half grand. You can. And do you know what? Genuinely, the KN has been one of the most reliable cars I've ever it's had. It's fantastic. I never had any issues with it. No. Except sorry, for the clutch. Sorry. Except sorry. In fast hat, sorry. Let's fantastic. just go back to. But. Hang but, on. Let's, wait, no, no. Let's go back wait, to wait, who wait. just bought a Porsche KN Turbo. Who, who was it? Someone, so one of your, yeah. f- your, one of your friends. Project, so Project Forty yeah. on on uh, on YouTube. Yeah, he wanted to buy my KN. There are a few issues I told him about, and then we decided it'd probably be best not to. You bought it. Yes. So he, uh, Tom, Tom, and I Tom, love it. <clears throat> Tom bought himself a KN uh, Turbo for nearly ten thousand pounds, which is quite strong money. Yes, for he one did of a those. few videos on it. Uh, and now it's pretty much scrap value because the timing chain is rattling which I have heard that on the turbos is quite a common issue not so much on my generation on the, on the 4.5 non-turbo on the turbos so but uh, anyway just touching quickly yeah, if you want to buy a good daily driver get a 3 series 5 series go to Octavia whatever you want if you want a cheap hatchback run around general car buy a Citroen C1 because they're fantastic carrying on Citroen BX Citroen C1. Citroen C1. They're so good. The one that's got the Toyota engine in it. And if you take the air filter out, they sound fantastic. Sorry, ignore all of that. Just cut get that. A box don't sick. What, what number? Yeah, get Shut a box in the sink. Oh my yeah. God, yeah. I'm going to be sick. Right, anyway, we have got some podcast feedback from Jim CW. All right, Jim. All right, Jim. Dear Alex, Taylor and Rory, loving the podcast videos and everything you guys do. The videos are on my constant playlist alongside Tavarish, Matt Armstrong and Johnny Smith. And then in brackets, clearly at the top, but don't tell them I said that. Ha. 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 Uh, then the podcast came along and I can now fill, get my fill whilst driving too. Anyway, you're going to like this. Both of you are going to like this. I've run this past your brother. Roy, stop I, I, reading. Stop pretending like you can read. Anyway, I had an idea for a podcast or two. How about... You get all of your mums on the podcast, set a shitbox budget, but let them choose the cars, then do a video where you road trip to their oh, favourite Sunday driving destinations. Alex's mum needs more love from you guys since her fall. How Taylor's mum puts up with him living at home, I'll never know. And as for Rory, well, shalom, Jackie. <laughs> oh, God. What better way for three cracking lads to show their appreciation for their mums and have some more fun along the way? Keep the content coming, fellas. Jim J, Jim CW. Can, can I just say, you know, yeah. I, I think your mums have a bit more automotive knowledge than mine. My mum was driving around on her car and she said it felt a bit floaty. I'd pumped, I'd checked the tyre pressures. Every single tyre was below 10 PSI. <gasps> oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is yeah. good. And, and now she it regularly, for some reason, I don't know why, the, the tyres all leak. So she's just driving around a lot on less than 10 PSI. Well, yeah. Rory jokes on you because I've got your mum's number from your brother, Tom. <laughs> oh, I must admit, our mums have had some very cool cars. They have, they? yeah, yeah. Should we do a quick automotive mums um, top trumps? Go on then. Okay. <clears throat> Ford Granada, two litre gear. Two Peugeot 205 no, GTIs. I was starting with a shit one. I was only joking. BMW E21 316. Left hand. Dr- oh, no, hold on. Wait, shut up. What am I starting with? Porsche 944. Mercedes 190E. BMW E30 Touring. Your mum? Mm-hmm. Really? Hmm. It was the last car my th- dad gave to her. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> was it? Okay. And then it got nicked off our driveway. <laughs> Brilliant. Someone uh, just took the uh, windscreen out and then just crawled through. The oh, windscreen? They, yeah, they took the rubber and the only thing that was left on our driveway was just the rubber from the windscreen. So the, whoever stole it must have been driving it along just with the what? wind buffeting them oh, in the fuck. face. Maybe we need to put a steering lock on our windscreen. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, okay, calm and gear. Hmm. Hmm. Um... Three litre Capri. BMW E21. BMW E36. Uh, Vox Lastra. <laughs> okay, you're out. <laughs> uh, BMW E36 320i manual touring and Maria, Maria Green. I don't know what one it was, but E39 BMW. Ford Focus Z Tech. Rory, you're out. 
No, I'm, I'm, I'm still in. No, no, you, you ruined it with the Astra. If I'm back in. No. Mm. <clears throat> uh, shit. Oh, shit. Mark 1 Ford Focus. TDCI. Two-door Peugeot 306 XSI Phase 1. I think he's one. Fiat 500. Oh, shut <laughs> up, <Rory. laughs> Right, in that case, say at layer 1.2 TSI. Woo! DSG, which is mum's current car. But it's got one of those disabled badges in the front. Oh, That's pretty good. Try and beat that, mum. Mm. It's my mum's got a disabled badge as well. Oh, really? They can park anywhere mm. they like. It's I've, fantastic. Uh, she's got a convertible smart car at the moment. She loves it. <laughs> I was sat outside the cafe in my local town uh back in it was back late last year and my mum's had a few smart cars it was one of her previous smart cars i just remember sitting there with brad from the aa and seeing this black smart car come for lying with a capital f round the roundabout outside the cafe and i was like that's my mum <laughs> <laughs> my mum got done um many years ago driving to devon uh, in her Porsche 944 doing 96 miles an hour, wow. she actually got pulled over by the police who were on the bridge mm. and they pulled her over and um, and they were like, we didn't know this car could go this fast. <laughs> and then they were like, do you know why we pulled you over? Blah, blah, blah. And my mum was like, Crohn's disease, I can't get to the toilet. <laughs> it was just a bullshit. No, they let her go. They let her go. Uh, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, my, my mum does about like 400 miles a year in her car. <laughs> 400 <laughs> yeah. miles well, To be a fair, year. my mum does that now as well. No, does yeah, she? Yeah, okay. yeah. she doesn't do a lot of mileage. She doesn't do a lot of mileage. Um, right, so I've written here a game, 20 questions. Do we have time for that? No, let's 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 go on to roaming section. Okay, so yeah. this, are we gonna miss we the some, 20 questions? We've got yeah. some beef. All right, we've got big beef. Because there's another game at hand. There's here. another game at hand, all right? right? You had the audacity, the audacity last week to tell everybody. Don't point at me in that tone of tell voice. Me not to point at you. Don't point at me in that tone of voice. You had the audacity to tell everybody here that you're stronger than me. And I am, I am stronger for than you. Wait, I, I, I need Sorry. to. Oh, um, wait, you, carry on. Okay. I just need to shout Tom to grab the camera. Okay. Tom? T um, we'll, we'll need cameraman in a second. That's, so Tom is actually Rory's brother. It, well, he is, yeah. yeah. He, who, as you will come see. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. Bring it in, Tom. Tom looks nothing like me. No, Tom looks like a human being, not a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tom. Before. No, just what? quickly. Yeah. Before we move on to the roaming section, yeah. can I give you. Your late Christmas oh, slash shit, birthday I gift. I forgot about oh, that. Oh, God. It's only yeah. a little no, gift. No, this is good. <sighs> but this I've got good. it. And it's nice. All right. Do you want it? Go on, then. Right. Shut your eyes. Oh, for crying out loud. You ready? Is it that mouse? No, it's not. Oh, okay. It's only a little gift, but it's quite funny. Right. It is very good. You ready? Shut your eyes. What do you Way. think it is? What do I think it is? Yeah. Way. What do you think he's got you? It's going to be something piss takey. Yes. <gasps> about my rigor mortis. No. It's going to be something sort about of. my age, uh, dentures, or something <laughs> Something just. Wait, are you ready? Yes. Right. Sh are your eyes shut. I'm, I'm looking away, aren't I? Yeah. Right. Ready? Uh, wait, yeah. Wait, and you've got to feel what it is first. Yeah. Go on then. Right. Put it in. That's not the first time <laughs> you've heard that. Right. Oh. Oh. What is it? Oh. Wait. What is it's it? A it's, oh, it's oh, a bottle. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a is it like a Yankee can? <laughs> oh, oh, it Just... might be. Mine <laughs> 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 clutch Yankee Everyone candle. Everyone has tagged me in this. <laughs> oh, and shit. I had to have it made, especially for that. you, because oh, you slipped the clutch. Thanks. <laughs> That's fantastic. Does it smell of... Oh, it smells of burnt clutch. <laughs> oh, that is very, very nice. And it's got the MX-5 on it. It does. How many times I've been tagged in this Yankee candle, I do not know. But everyone has said that you need that Yankee candle. How many times you've been tagged in it? How many times do you think I've been tagged in it? <laughs> Wait, so, Every other message is... So, can I ask... Bloody Yankee candle. Is this actually genuine? Because I thought it was just a Photoshop. No, I had to... So, I had the label on it made. Oh, could so, you? Yeah, it's, it's a real Yankee candle, but that is is made, modelled off of the one that everyone has tagged me in. That's fantastic. That is going to bring me into my 40th year on Earth. <laughs> tomorrow. It, so, yes. Because you're 40. I'm not 40. You I'm going to be 30 tomorrow. 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 And so, see tomorrow. Today, He's... when you're listening or watching, no, watching, <clears throat> not watching. Oh, you're... yeah, this is going out on your birthday. Are you going to upload it? 
as a YouTube video tomorrow. Uh, no. He hasn't got any credit oh, left. Crying out loud. No. So sorry, you can only listen to this, but yeah, it's my 39th today. So everyone just shut up. But thank you very much. Uh, That's all right. Merry okay, Christ, okay, okay. Rory, uh, your turn. I'm, I'm looking away. I'm looking, Rory, I'm looking away. And I just feel fat. <laughs> <laughs> there, if there's one thing that I will say that Rory is shit at, it's presence is it oh, you are yeah. shit at it mm. uh yeah no yeah i uh, uh, if you ever get a present for someone you tell them about it i do oh yeah. god he's so shit <laughs> I do. so you ruined my whole christmas present i didn't ruin no we can't, you ruined, we, can't you actually, we can't we can't say this because so, there's one person that doesn't know about this yeah but he doesn't listen to it tom doesn't listen you ruined okay. christmas for me tom does listen to it. does he yeah, yeah. He listens to podcasts while he's, all right, you fuckers, I'm rebuilding this Jaguar engine for this yeah. E-Tar. I will charge you two or fifty for the pad, you t- Will you not stop bringing me buckets of shit? Yeah. Hey, and, uh, anyway. I, I love the way that when we're chatting to him, he gets bored. He's like, all right, then you guys need to fuck off now. <laughs> like, okay, Tom's had enough I've got us. things to do now. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> anyway, I'm still fuming because last time on the podcast, Number 16, this being 17, you told everyone a vicious rumour that you were stronger than me. I told and, everyone the truth. Okay. Well, in our Airbnb, Airbnb, we happen to have a little gym upstairs. Right. So there's a cage mm-hmm. with a 20 kilogram bar and some plates on there. So why don't we put this to the test? All right. Oh my God, you're confident. I oh, just... is what it is, isn't it? Okay. All right. So you... Um, watching us and you listening to us with your ear holes are going to join us as we go upstairs. Yep. Can we do it live? How do we move uh, the yeah, entire yeah. Okay, podcast? Okay. So, Everybody, so, so take your headphones off. Come with us. Can I bring take your, my beer? Oh, take oh, your headphones off. Right. Wait, let me have a sip of my beer. Yeah, I need Alex, you need to put your mic down. Okay. okay. All right. We're roaming, we're a roaming podcast right. now. Right. Oh, welcome. Hey, MTV no, no, Cribs. No, 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 no. You need to oh. speak into this. Hey, MTV Cribs. Welcome to my Cribs. I'm a famous YouTube rapper. My name's K Dog, and and get up in my grill, MTV Quibs. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, sorry. So, so most people are, are going to still be listening. So yes. you need to pretend that the video is not there. Uh, right. So I'm going to give everyone a tour of this gaff. And if this is one thing, this is a gaff. There's Luke. He is chilling in the. This is the secondary living room. This is a spare living room. And we've got some floating staircase that I don't really trust because I'm quite fat and I'm worried that it's going to collapse. So. Yeah, the first time I went up this, get a little bit of nervousness. It's moving. I'm on it. I can feel it moving. We've got a lovely tiles. Look at the size of these tiles. But not heated. These were not cheap, let's be honest. Someone has spent an, a nice amount of money on this gaff. Nice bedroom in there. The doors are good as well. They're good, good, nice fire doors. Good for fire protection. And now you join us in the gym. Right. This is the toilet. That's the that's the toilet. So what you can do is when you overdo the gym, like Alex does, you can go straight in there and shit yourself. Because apparently, if you overdo the gym, you shit yourself. So Alex, yeah. Hello. What's the challenge? So the challenge is okay. So we have a bar here. I believe this is a twenty kg bar. We've got fifteens on each side. That's fifty kilos. Right. I would just like to say. Oh, I would just like. I would just like to say. I've never done any of this before. So if you do happen to lose, you are going to be... You're just, no, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Right. So, okay, so it's 50 kilos, not a lot of weight. What I would like you to do, Taylor, is pick it up and then chest press it as many as you can do. As many reps as you can do. But I'll get... Rigor mortis. I'll get onset muscle soreness like I did the last time I did weights. Yes, but that's quite funny. Would you like me to start? Yeah, go on then. Okay. Go on, girl. Right. I'm going to give a rolling commentary on what Alex is up to. Are you ready? So the short man has got his gut out and is laying on a bench. This bench is quite hard. You ready? Right. So <clears throat> this has never been done on a podcast before, ladies and gentlemen. I, if you look in the mirror, Rory, look at that hairline. Oh it's God. it's getting really bad. Right, here we go. Yeah, so he's holding it. Okay, down to the chest and up. Down to the chest and up. Oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, this is a bit boring, 29, now. 30, 30. Oh, he's paused. He's paused. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. He's slowing down. 37. <gasps> he's slowing down. He's going red in the face. 38, 39, 40. Oh, he's 40. Paused he's paused again. He's paused again. Oh, he's back on. 41, 42, 43. 43 has gone very red in the face. 44, 45. 46, 47. 47. Look at me. Cool, right. I'm going to head back downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't say that was that. <sighs> All right, so Taylor, after seeing that, how many do you think you're going to do? Right. <clears throat> I'll be honest, nowhere near that. <laughs> because this is obviously not this uh, doesn't this doesn't prove strength it this proves no 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 this what is, this is no 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 strength. no what this is is a proof of stamina no, it's not. and uh, leisure okay anyway you're up it's 47 to beat right i'm gonna position myself on the chair oh. Oh, i want to see this gut <laughs> go on girl i've never done this right well oh, wait wait mm, jesus Ooh, christ fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> One. Look to your chest. Oh. Come on up. <laughs> Come on, up we go. Up we go. Up we go. Oh, shoot. Two. two. Oh. 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 oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Wait, can, can I just say, just slightly wider grip. Right. There you go. Just get it even. This and just concentrate. This is and, so and embarrassing. <laughs> And, and just remember, we're in an Airbnb, so if you damage these walls... Someone's already hit the wall. Yeah, just don't smash, just don't smash the mirror. So right, come on, here we go. Go on, girl. This you is did. so embarrassing. Right, okay, so an even grip, about there, it's good. Okay. A little bit further out. Hey, right. There you go, there you go. What am I on? Two. Here we go. <gasps> oh, fuck me, this wobbling, isn't it? No, that... Oh! <laughs> right, hold that, hold that. Okay, all right, so there's four, four five. five, six. Alex has had to go in as hell. Oh, we're on, we're on six. He's dropped it down to his chest. Seven, he, oh, seven, seven. seven and, and he's done. The bar is back on. Someone's filled this up with concrete. <laughs> Taylor's claiming that someone has filmed this up with concrete. Um, I think Taylor might just be a bit weak. I'm going to stop on the basis that I don't want to get sore arms for tomorrow. So what has this proven, Rory? <laughs> you are better at one thing than Taylor, okay, which what? is going to the gym. Okay, right. Should we call it there? I, th I think this is the end of the podcast, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we started downstairs in MTV Cribs. Uh, we're going to end it upstairs in MTV Cribs gym uh, as me, the victor, right? Uh, no. Okay. I'm victorious. I'm very happy with that. Um, anyway, we're just trying new things. So thank you very much for watching, for listening. Please make sure you subscribe to the main channel, to the V2 channel. And also a massive thank you to Febby Bilstein for sponsoring this episode. Rory, any more to say? Uh, no. What about if people want to uh, email us? What's the email? Podcast at autoalexcars.com. <laughs> And from us, have a wonderful week. Whatever you do, do it to the best of your ability. We will see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Oh, shit. Jesus.